The mother at the center of a horrific child abuse case has learned her fate. Krista Cruz will send, spend a decade behind bars for her role in the death of her son, James Dunkley. Back in September, Cruz pleaded guilty to child abandonment, child abuse, and failing to report abuse. Four years after the four-year-old was beaten to death by Cruz's roommate, Zarek Marquez. The boy had 30 injuries on his body, including skull fractures and broken bones. At a sentencing hearing today, prosecutors asked the judge to sentence Cruz to 22 years, the max allowed under the plea deal, saying she did not care for her son and put him in dangerous situations long before he died. Cruz wept as the prosecutor described a history of abuse. She is the parent, the only parent James had, the only person he looked up to to feel safe, and the only person that kept putting him in danger. Cruz declined to address the court today, but her attorney says she takes responsibility for what happened. A psychologist also discussed Cruz's own history of child abuse and distrust with CYFD. However, Judge Dan Whitaker sentenced her to 10 years in prison. And, and I, I just can't get my head uh, wrap it around how James was crying out and reaching out to one person that he could hopefully get some help from. Marquez is serving a life sentence for killing Dunkley. A third person tied to the boy's death, Pamela Esparza, received a 13-year sentence. Just last week, the state agreed to pay Dunkley's estate $4.9 million because CYFD caseworkers knew about the abuse but kept him with his mother.